Hey, good morning, everyone. Um, almost afternoon on this Wednesday morning. I want to say hello to you. Having a cup of coffee. I've realized that I'm on my eighth cup of coffee this morning. Uh, so uh, today should be real interesting, and even tonight at Impact Life should be real interesting when caffeine is involved in my life. So um, I just want to put a couple things out there to you and share some things with you that are on my heart. Um, I've always questioned and wondered if we have churches on every corner, and there's so many churches um, that people go to and have great things happen and people give their lives to God, you know, I'm a pastor, I have a church, and we have great things that happen in our church as well. Um, but I've always questioned if there's so many churches, then why isn't our world different? And, and I really started asking this question when I was young because on the road that I lived growing up, there was 13 churches within under an eight mile stretch of road. Um, but I realized that when I went to school in that same area, that it was so different than church life. You know, I'm thinking as a, you know, 14 year old kid, even then. Um, and I understand, uh, you know, just living life and just trying to survive and doing the best that you can. So I'm not, I'm not throwing stones at churches. I have a church, so church is very, very important. The church service is very, very important, so please don't misunderstand me. But I've discovered something. Let me just say it this way. I've rediscovered something. If we have so many churches, especially in America, um, why isn't our world getting any better? And we can get into a theological debate of biblical things and, and people can use scriptures to back up their point of view. Um, I'm not into debating, I'm not into any of that stuff, and I will not do that, especially online, but um, I believe I've rediscovered something. <laughs> I think that we've been out of balance, I know I have in my life, and I've put all my faith in the church service, all my faith in the experience of the church service. Now, we need that, so please don't hear what I'm not saying, but what we have missed is the kingdom. We've missed the kingdom working in our everyday lives every day. That's why a lot of people get addicted to a church service. They want to be socially acceptable in their trendy church or, you know, nothing wrong with that. But church has got to be a certain way for it to minister to me. We've made it all about the church service. We've made it all about the conference. Okay. And there needs to be some balance here. Um, I've rediscovered the answer and I've rediscovered the kingdom and I'm still discovering it. Um, Jesus said the kingdom is within you. So... What I experience at church on Saturday night or Sunday or Wednesday or whenever we go to our church services uh, should just be an added part to our everyday life in the kingdom of God. Jesus said the kingdom is within you. And so Paul said the kingdom of God is righteousness, peace, and joy in the Holy Spirit. If we don't understand kingdom, we're not going to understand the Bible okay, to its fullest extent. Um, if we keep making everything about a church service and what our church does or doesn't do, number one, there's no, they're not going to be unity in the body of Christ. And uh, it's just going to be about our church club. And it, that stuff just drives me nuts. And I don't want that. And so we've got to rediscover the kingdom that lives on the inside. I love it when the people of God come together and there's so much hope and there's so much faith, man. There's nothing like it. And when the presence of God comes corporately in our rooms and our, our, I'm sorry, in our, in our sanctuaries, in our churches, it's a wonderful thing. But we can't get stuck on that because that should be an everyday part of our life. It should be an everyday part of our life. Are we worshiping on our own? Are we praying on our own? Can we feel the presence of God in our homes or is it related or, or just not really, is it, is it just connected to a building that we call church here in America? So I think I found the answer, I know that I have, and it's, it's rediscovering the kingdom. It's the kingdom that lives on the inside of you. And a lot of people, a lot of American Christians have no idea what that means, but that's all that Jesus taught was the kingdom. When you begin to rediscover the kingdom, you begin to understand how it works in your everyday life. It doesn't mean you're not going to have trouble. It doesn't mean you're not going to have heartache. It doesn't mean we're not going to walk through hard things in our life. But it does mean that we can tap into his righteousness, his peace, his joy. It's an everyday experience. It's not a church style, baby has nothing to do with titles. It's everything with a lifestyle in the kingdom of God. And it's within you, Jesus said. The Pharisees asked Jesus, is it where will the kingdom of God come? Is it going to come from over there? Is it going to come from over here? Jesus said, look, it's not going to come that way. The kingdom of God is within you. 
Okay, more to come, but we're going to rediscover the kingdom together. All right, and um, have some coffee. Enjoy God. Enjoy your life. Keep going. Don't quit. Have more hope, more faith. All right, God bless. See you later.